Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today in the Crazy Baker Kitchen, we're gonna be doing a lamb and mint pasty. My favorite, there's nothing like it. Lamb and mint, Sunday roast, you can see it, you can smell it. Please subscribe and please share and don't forget your recipes below the video in the description and also you can find it on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. <music> And for your pastry, you want 454 grams of bread flour, 114 grams of warm water, 114 grams of butter, 114 grams of white shortening, and a pinch of salt. What we need is our mixer. Put our bowl on with our flour in. Add in the fat and a good pinch of salt. Now we're going to use this beater. This is a creamer. All we're going to do is mix this up so it's a nice crumb. Now we're going to add in our warm water. And just let this mix around for around about one minute. You can see it's all mixed in well now and it's formed a nice type of pastry. And it's not dough formed. You want to be able to pull it away like this. Now we're going to take out the machine bowl, put it on the table. And with a little bit of flour. I'm going to roll this out into a, like a long big sausage. Not too long. So it's sort of nice and even. Now we're going to be getting eight pasties. So I think you know where we're going with this. First cut it in the middle, then cut it again, again, and again. It's only got to be rough. Okay, I might need a bit more. All right, and all we're going to do is mold them into little balls. And there we go. Now all we're going to do is rest these for around about half an hour. And for your lamb and mint filling, you want 100 grams of chopped up onion, 350 grams of chopped up potato, 500 grams of lamb chopped into chunks. You want a good pinch of salt. If you like pepper, you can add pepper as well. You also want some mint and 140 grams of of mixed up gravy or bovril type product. This is just for a bit of flavour. All you need to do is cover your meat with boiling up water. Your potatoes with boiling up water. And your onions. Cover them over. and we'll come back in half an hour. Strain off your meat, also the same with your onions and your potatoes. Get your mixing bowl, pop in your meat, pop in your potatoes, pop in your onions, A good pinch of salt. At this stage, if you want to put some more pepper in with this, you can. Pop in your gravy. It should be jilled like this now. Pop 
your beater, and now we'll put it onto our machine. Right, and we want to just turn this round a bit to start with, and now we're going to pop it onto first speed. Now you want this to turn into like a paste. It won't go right the way down, but it, you'll see what I mean. The potato will break down, and it'll sort of all gel together as a sort of like a paste. It usually takes around about one minute. That's it guys. Now all you need to do is pop that into a fridge to cool it down. And that'll take around about half an hour. So these are now ready. We can now roll them out. And you want to be rolling them out to around about seven to eight inches round. Good way of testing if you've actually got a cutter type thing this is around this is actually a jug and it just fits over the top so that's roughly wants to be a little bit bigger than that but that's about it so we're going to keep them all about the same size All right, and here's your filling, and this makes exactly eight. So just plonk it in the middle. Try to keep it as even as you can. Now what you want to do is get yourself some egg wash. This is one egg and some water mixed together. And all you want to do is one half of the pasty. Now just add a spoonful of mint over the top of the filling. Now what we want to do is get out of them and just fold it over the top, keeping your pasty meat inside and then turn it up so you're sort of making a, a bigger pasty that way around. Now this is where the fun and game starts. Just press it down. And all we're going to do is get your thumb over and all you're doing is folding over your thumb. And all you're doing is folding over your thumb. And all you're doing is folding over your thumb. And now you need your tray. Right, this tray has got silicone paper. You can use grease proof or you can use baking parchment. Right, all we're going to do now is just put a little hole in them to let the steam out. Now we're going to egg wash the top. You're now going to have to rest these now for around about 30 minutes. And you are now can pop your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be 200 to 210 Celsius. Well, there you go guys. There's your lamb and mint pasties and now we're going to be baking them off. They've rested there for around about 20 minutes. And we're going to be baking them in the oven for 50 minutes. 
and halfway through you want to turn them around in the oven so it gets evenly baked. So we'll get them in. Can't wait for them to come out. Mmm, scrummy. Lamb in mint. My favourite. And we'll see you back in 50 minutes. Well, the lamb and mint's ready. We'll get them out of the oven. Oh, yes. Absolutely cracking. Well, there you go, guys. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, your recipe is below the video in the description. And also, you can find it on my Facebook page at Traditional Bakery. And don't forget, I do have a number of playlists baking and non-baking, do check them out. And also, if you've got any questions or you want to ask anything, pop them down the, below the video. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel in the Crazy Baker kitchen. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes, reviews, I am the Crazy Baker, please subscribe and please share, laters!